All right, so more altcoin gems. You guys have been asking about these. We thought, hey, let's just jump into one, and that is Sandbox. My name is Paul Barron. Welcome back to TechPath. Evan Aldo is going to drive us deep into the sandbox it's today. It's great to be here. <laughs> be fun. Either, let's just admit stuck in the sand. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pumped. Yeah. All right, Evan, let's look at sand, Sandbox quickly. Just a little run in uh, right. where at least the charts are pointing on this. For you guys, if you haven't checked this one out, Sandbox, it's the 116 rank. It's currently trading around 74 cents. So right. what, are you, what, are you, what are you looking at that you like or don't like? So on the 16 hour on, uh, on Market Cypher, what I like is the VWAP is coming up. It seems like we are coming up with uh, money flow out of the red and getting closer to the green. And um, you know, if we want to estimate more where we're going to end up, let's draw a fib level too, just to get some, uh, some prices to go top to bottom because we are in a dom trend. And we hit off of this fib level, this 236 fib level. So that's a good sign. It's acting as uh, support. Let's look at the 12 hour. Same deal. Um, VWAP's still coming up. The VWAP's been under the zero line for a while here, which usually when it's under the zero line for a while, when it finally does come up, usually you get a big, um, you, you get a big price movement from that. Let's go to the eight hour. So the eight hour here, this is what I like some more. So good curvature in the eight hour. This is what you want to see on market server. Good curvature in the money flow, the red money flow coming up. Printed a little trigger wave right here. It wasn't ready yet, but we're about to print another green dot here, another wave right here, which could potentially bring us up. You know, the main part I would look at to take profits is around 80 cents. Sure, we could go higher, but a good place to take in your first profits is 80 cents, six hour, this is what I really like on these lower time frames. So a lot of times, you know, money flow is trying to come up, it came up a little bit, didn't happen. Now it's trying to come up, come up again, we're about to print green dot there, and then we go on these lower time frames. Four hour, it's a little inconclusive. Let's look at um, the hourly. Hourly, seems like we're about to print another green dot. We could draw a divergence right here. Let's draw a uh, little divergence here. So price is kind of still coming down as momentum is starting to come up. Momentum's yeah. really starting to come up. Yeah. So when you look at projects like this, just a quick, you know, for many of you, maybe you don't understand completely what Sandbox is. Let me just jump to this. It was, it was launched in 2011 by Pixel. The Sandbox is a blockchain-based virtual world, allowing users to create, build, and buy and sell digital assets, and so on. The interesting thing behind this is their founder. This is Arthur Madrid, who actually was, he's been a high-tech, founder before. So he ended up selling One Click Media, which was a huge sale in mm -hmm. Europe. And that's the kind of teams that I typically follow very closely is once you get into a project and you want to identify it, if you are looking to hold something, if you're looking to do something like what Evan's talking about in terms of quick trade, mm -hmm. pretty easy to do and just in looking at the you know market cipher tool sets and you can kind of get things going. But if you're looking for more long-term holding, always find out a little bit more about the token. We'll do these market movers from time to time where we'll grab some of this. Evan might do an analysis on it. But remember, this is not financial advice. The number one thing it's designed to do is help you kind of get going in your quest for what's next in your crypto journey. I want to look at the trade the chain data because this sometimes I always wonder how trade the chain mm -hmm. lines up to market cipher because market cipher is a very technical analysis, right. pure money flow, trade action. Trade the chain is all sentiment, it's all gut. Mm. You know, so you look at trade the chain right now on sandbox. Let me go to the seven day right here. And you can kind of see the action right here. A lot of movement right here, a little bit of a downward trend, which it identified early enough right here. But look at this sentiment is on fly right now. So which kind of points to what you're talking about. Sometimes trade the chain will get a leading indicator on sentiment meaning there's enough people talking about mm -hmm. it, you get that water cooler effect, the network right. effect, which causes money flow action. In many cases, mm -hmm. somebody FOMOing in or jumping in based on what they're seeing on Market Cypher. Anything that you're looking for small caps like this that help you identify when you're cruising through charts, Right. what are some of the things that you might say as you're looking at a Market Cypher you know, indice, what would be one of the things you're really watching closely? Well, when you're seeing a lot of charts, usually the charts kind of tend to follow one another, um, especially when you you know everything follows Bitcoin to a certain extent. It's getting a little bit different because the Bitcoin dominance is going up, so right. we're seeing a lot more money coming into Bitcoin. But when I'm looking at a lot of these things, normally I'm seeing a lot of the same. When I see something that's different, that really stands out. When I'm seeing more curvature, like what I'm seeing here, curvature on these lower time frames, 
VWAPs coming up, you know, like on the six hour, like I was saying here, a lot of the uh, other altcoins are looking quite a bit worse. You have more money coming out. There's more money coming into this, so it does look a little bit better in quite a few other things. If we go on the really low time frames, decent curvature in the 30 minute. Wait for that. Probably wait for that green dot to uh, to come up here. And then if you go on the really short term, let's see the 15 minutes. Probably the lowest you should go on um, for real short term. I like this because this yeah. is it's trying to come up that little that uh, hump right there, and then it's really trying to come into the green, and I think it will, and I think that will bring us up. So That'll be interesting, because yeah. if the sentiment was able to kind of predict that, because you've seen price drop a little bit, but yet what Marcus Seifert is showing is there's some indice on a trend that's upward movement here. So it could right. be a, a good trade on a short time, so there's some opportunity here. Right. Back to Bitcoin dominance, because this is something that is pretty impressive. Right now, market cap holding at 2.3 trillion, 24 hour volume, over 100 billion now. Wow. <laughs> That's insane volume. Dominance, look at that, 46.3. When's the last time you saw that? It's been a while. I, I believe it's got to be about a year ago. So this is looking a lot like September of 20, quarter four of 2020, which normally Bitcoin yeah. does outperform. And I personally have been kind of surprised we have had this much of an altcoin season in 2021. You know, I expected Bitcoin to do better compared to a lot of the altcoins. And now I'm really seeing it because... Mm -hmm. Bitcoin really is, at the end of the day, the Bitcoin maximalists, I criticize them sometimes, but they do have a point. You know, Bitcoin yeah. is really key, king, and you should have the majority of your profile in Bitcoin, I would say. Good words from Evan. All right. You guys, of course, are tuned in over on the podcast. Number one thing you can do over there is subscribe, but the best thing you can do is jump over here on the YouTube channel. You're going to get a chance to see Evan's charts. You're going to get a chance to see some of the CEO interviews, et cetera, that we do just subscribe to the channel, but the best thing that we're gonna offer you over here on the YouTube channel is something called the Diamond Circle, and the best thing there is it's free to you. We're doing all sorts of cool things. We are dropping and doing a huge giveaway this week with an airdrop on Friday during the live stream, so all you have to do is join, it's free. That'll put you in the pretty much the randomized drawing where we'll do an airdrop live on the show on Friday, so make sure and stay tuned right here. If you have ideas that you want us to talk about, or maybe another token that you want us to analyze next time. I don't know, as we get closer, drop them in the comments on any of the uh, shows. We'll definitely pick them up. Or just hit me up on Twitter, and it's at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechPath.